I have the livestock that you normally wouldn't have on an acreage in my home. <laughs> I do all the rescue work for the Edmonton Reptile and Amphibian Society. There's probably a hundred in the house. This is one of my several bearded dragons that I have. They're the most common lizard that you can own as a pet. So it makes it good for children that want to have a little lizard that's super friendly. Up here I have a cooter, so he's up for adoption. He's a little sweetie. I bought him fish to feed him, but he won't eat the fish, so now he has friends. He's a happy little guy. Upstairs here I have one bedroom that I have a lot of my smaller guys in. Here I have a female bearded dragon. There's eight ball pythons, some leopard geckos. This is a chameleon that came in. This one is a tarantula that needs a home. And this is just food. Okay, and then most of them are in the basement. Here we have some really rather large boas. This is squish. So this is a full size boa. They're not really dangerous. I mean, they just need to hang on because they have no legs. So you have to give them something to hang on to. This is my large turtle pond. I have about six turtles in there right now. This one's been here forever. It's a yellow belly and it's very nasty and nobody wants to adopt it. So it's almost like become a permanent resident. More large boas here, one ball python. I have corn snakes. Here's a beautiful king snake. He's just gorgeous. I, I would keep this one, but I can't keep them all. Uh, another snow corn. It's very beautiful. And then I have another turtle pond here. I have a woman who might be interested in these guys here. There's some more big boas out and about trying to get a look at you right now. This is my Demerals boa. This is Shalimar. This is how she likes to sit perched on my head like I'm a tree and then she can survey all the territory but you don't want to get her tight on your neck. There's such a need for exotics to be taken care of properly. You know the sooner we get a facility, I can get more cages set up, I can train volunteers and get some help. To me, it's about responsibility of a life. They just need help. Just because they're cold-blooded green guys or whatever doesn't mean that they don't deserve the love and the attention and proper care.